Holding. Yes, uh, Narissa, it's John Wanola here. Hi. Hi, I've just sent an email through to you. Yes, you did. Um, before I come in, at what time? 2.30, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll be there. Alright, perfect. Thank you for that. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. There we go. That's Narissa at Fortune Manning. I'm prepared, but I'm just going to... She's got the letter, and I've sent it professionally. Right there. I'm going to read it to you. In fact, I'll read it off the um, internet because it's small on there. I'm going to stitch this into the one of the books. I'm going to show you afterwards all the books that I'm taking with me. And that letter uh, will be in one of the books, the main books, so that it's stuck there on the record. I think they'll be good. Um, we're, we're clean, straight up, no mucking around. And I don't think they want to muck around either. I'm going to be more vigilant on the cost of the service uh, that we uh, um, get our money's worth for apostolizing these books here in the box. And I'll put them in the bag and then wheel them out. But I've got a box here to stack them in. I think it, it, it's the same size as the one in the uh, post shop. So I'll just have to pay for the weight, that's all, not the box. Um, over there, the box is eight fifty, eight dollars fifty, and uh, could have used one of those, but we'll see. Uh, so here's the letter. I'm just going to get it out and blow it up so I can read it to you, so that you're the first to see what I'm doing here is disclosed. Everything I do is disclosed the moment I publish. It goes straight online. So I'm saying to the lawyer, there's no need to go right over my things again because it took me years just going over it with each lawyer that I've had in the past. And that was uh, from Jerry Balakasavu in the first place, um, a Fijian Indian lawyer. Um, he eventually got his ticket as a lawyer but then died and I was left right in the middle of it. Um, but he, he was um, uh, very good uh, then. Uh, right, here's the letter. I'm going to flip the camera around for these documents here. There's 32 of them going into that bag. And I'll off to the lawyer. This is the box. Oh, I might have to get a better one. I'll just seal the holes up and seal it all up so that it's, it's strong. This, this part here is strong, so it won't break, right? And then that goes over the top, so we'll, we'll, we'll fashion it so that it gets there safely. So here's the letter, okay? Those are my letter heads here with the seals along the top, as you can see. <coughs> Those seals there, and especially the eight point star of St. Patrick. I'll mention to him on the head there. As that's my authority, I won't wear my shirt. I'll, I, it's enough there for him to see that I have my coat of arms in Brus uh, um, Belfast, Northern Ireland of um, uh, the Rogans and the Cosgroves. So there we have um, registered office, Ngātuewa Aotea Limited and Maui Crown King William IV Trust of Aotea New Zealand, UK Britain. We're in a dual, uh, dual British Empire partnership here between that king and this incumbent king of Britain, UK, Hanover, Ernest Augustus V and myself as his surrogate to King William IV has to go through here to go to him because he has no contract. I have the contract here with him and this flag there, okay? So now I'll go through the letter. I've got time at 2.30, 11 o'clock now, so I've got plenty of time to get in town. Registered office, 07B 16 Park Avenue, South Auckland, 1062 New Zealand. That's where I'm at here right now. Wednesday, 24th of January 2018. This went in a PDF file, by the way. Um, uh, to um, Nerissa Bright in uh, Fortune Manning Lawyers Notary uh, for the apostoly of these documents to legalise them in the Internal Affairs New Zealand Government and the British Foreign Affairs uh, UK apostoly. Okay, 
so that makes it legal then. Now to Air Wild Air Limited, 07 B 16 Park Avenue, Oahu 01062, Auckland, New Zealand. The other company is my Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited, London, UK, 6 Bonnie Road, Brighton, England, UK, BN2, Bar 4PP, Fortune Manning, Lawyers, Tony Manning, oh that should have been down a bit, I'm going to put a space there, should have been there, Level 5, 12 Viaduct, Harbour Ave, Auckland Central, City, New Zealand, Witness Day, 24th January 2018, I'm making a statement here, um, fact-cited statement. Dear Tony Fortune, thanks for our conversation yesterday. So I will outline specific instructions for you to notarize 32 bound copies of information that is online disclosed and discovered over the years since the year 2000, 2004 Foreshore and Seabed Act and 2008 Lisbon Treaty. I have documented before, during and after events as my fact-cited evidence when the Queen Elizabeth Two, the second, abandoned Britain, UK, and joined her EU, EU Parliament as a conflict of interest to my paramount chief's British land patent deed titles. I hold as executor of the Moriori Manukau Trust, competent witness of myself, Royal Tahitian, Maui Crown Indigenous families. You will notice that Chile has returned Rapa Nui, East Island, back to my Wānau chief's control and possession. The same as I want Aotea New Zealand returned to the Moai Crown Moriori Manukau Paramount Chiefs King's Emperor Commercial Land Ownership Title Partnership King's Common Law People of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Bear in mind these books are a historic account, fact cited evidence on my own representation in any court of law as my own competent witness information that I won my case against New Zealand Police CIB in the Auckland District Court case was dismissed through lack of evidence meant I have more fact evidence of what I am claiming to be the surrogate King William IV is real but needs notarising legalised as unrebutted YouTube videos times 1500 as live evidence admissible in a court of law I use now direct to the High Court of Admiralty in London. Lawyers on this case since 2008 Lisbon Treaty. Charles Hirschfeld, Barrister of Ranfilly Chambers. He is on my Marangaro family land blocks Eastgate as a landowner shareholder who did all our Confederation of United Tribes UN legal documents. I am one of the diplomats to that Confederation mandated at Waitangi. The team arrived delegation to go to the UN and World Court. A group of 30 have gone to Brussels, but I am sticking to Britain, UK, Westminster Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court direct and online cases direct to High Court, the High Court of Admiralty, London. Number two, Yu Tai Choi lawyer is handling that case, but he is now John Key lawyer and holding off on my case. He also has all my files, same as Charles Hirschfeld. Three. Private investigator, ex-lawyer, Scotland Yard detective, Graham Aylett, has all my case documents that I am about to show you. Graham asked me to get a letter from a lawyer to proceed with his work. I have done all the research of evidence myself, no third parties involved. No Maori Iwi Trust, only my own Maui Crown, British King's flag, commercial private contract. No one's business to inquire into as third parties. 4. Tony Fortune of Fortune Manning, notary of documents, book bounded copies as to take to Internal Affairs Wellington before Waitangi Day to present, apostolise, legalise to the main tribes waiting on these documents before I go to Britain, UK, Westminster. I have contracted Graham Ayler to organise the investigations of my claims the commercial landowner partnership with King's British Crown under the path of King Ernest Augustus, the fifth reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK incumbent, Salic Law, Dutch Van Diemen, Zeeland, 1834, founding flag of New Zealand. Please note all my documents are disclosed online, 107 Facebook sites and 1500 YouTube videos immediately since 2008, unchallenged or 
or rebutted. My instructions to you are 1. No more than 2 hours to examine all bound, sealed, signed by Chief's official diplomatic instrument documents. 2. Provide for me a certified letter to New Zealand Internal Affairs and British UK Foreign Affairs Departments Wellington for 32 bound documents for legislation, legalisation, apostoly, authentication as me, the author, Whakapapa Native Land Title Commissioner of Moriori Manukau Maui Crown Land Patents, historian and commercial landowner under these, the corporate company's birth certificate legal title private company, bank instrument, creditor, company names, Wānoa in brackets, these are private companies, Hawani Kahaki Wānoa, John Wānoa, Mr Wānoa, Hawani Wānoa, and corporate companies Nā Atua Ewa Aotea Limited, New Zealand, Maui Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited London, that's supposed to be Maui, not an I, better correct that. Oh, I, okay, my powerhouse. Man, man, uh, I click, corrected all, most of the mistakes. London, UK, and Moai Crown, New Zealand, United Kingdom, and Moai Crown King, William Ford Trust, and Moai Moriori Manukau Trust, private companies, judgment creditors versus judgment debtors named throughout these documents, no limitation, no limitation acts. I'm saying in this... Number two, that uh, these names in capitals are the fashion of the Crown Corporation's iwi Māori here in New Zealand as trust dragging money out of me. And I cited them in my court case in Auckland that I wanted it back and they're still holding on to it. And this is what I'm claiming back as a trillion pounds on that name. These names are worth one trillion pounds in a Moai Crown federal state government, okay, of New Zealand, Pacific and the world, Commonwealth countries. Okay, number three, instructions. I will not leave my original documents with you, rather I want a seal on the day of the package on all 32 documents cited as too much information to pour over that will cost me more than what it has, cost, has so far cost me. To prepare for your time involved today, to take these documents through a postally process before Waitangi Day, 6th of February 2018, presentation to the Chiefs, I represent as an appointed, cloaked, paramount Chief King William III, King William IV, King George IV, British Crown Land Patent, Deed Commercial Land Owner, Two-Party Partnership Contractor, Queen Elizabeth II is the third party in this flag contract business and with and the courts here have no seal of the Queen and no seal of Westminster Parliament. I hold the seal of King William IV and the seal of Moai Crown, Native Land Title Memorial, standing in Auckland, Dunedin, London, Brussels, France, Belgium, New York, Washington DC, Singapore, as my own Wanoa Royal Tahitian Monarch Title Inheritance and Moriori Manukau, Executor, Edinburgh Magistrate Court with King George IV, legal partner, sale and purchase of New Zealand and Pacific Islands to the British Empire State Corporation, lease and occupation paper land titles. Four, instruction. I require a letter to my private investigator, administrator, Graham Aylett of Aylett Investigations Limited, level 1, 28, Custom Street, East Britomart, 1010. Today, please, he is waiting for it to proceed with the job of property control and possession orders from me and my Paramount Chief organization. 5. You will tell me the cost today when I come to see you and pay your bill so I can take the documents to Wellington Internal Affairs personally on urgent matters for Waitangi Day. I believe will be changes in Maori tenure versus Moai Crown Legal Authority to Britain, UK, our Moai Crown King William IV Trust. 
trust, oh no, trust, not too bad on mistakes. Principal contracting legal legitimate partner, First Lord of the Sea, Sir Philip Jones, British Royal Navy. Sixth instruction, I will then go to Graham Aylett's office to hand the letter from you to him or any of my other lawyers to contract with me, and that option will be made available to you, subject to Graham Aylett fulfilling his contract with me, secured. Remember, the public media of the world was first to see all these documents at the one time before I contacted you. Refer to my YouTube videos of... My Crown facts cited evidence, disclosed discovered evidence, had no legal connection to Iwi Māori Crown corporations, who I claim are judgment debtors created by Queen Elizabeth II and Rothschild Banks, U.S. Federal. Oh man, this is terrible. Federal state government, and I've only just written this letter, and President. Donald Trump, I'm holding liable for promoting Israel, ISIS, bank wars, that same pattern here of the Queen's tribe called Ngāti Whātua o Ōrāke, Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara, and Ngāti Whātua Iwi Māori Trust, and the Waitangi National Trust, which is under SFO investigations. I know all what happened there as a Titi Marae trustee in earlier times of my 20 years research into the Iwi Maori trustees, fraud, Maori land title, whakapapa and Maori land court. I have completed all my documents in 32 bound books of case files and mandates from Marae native magistrate courts, 11 in total. I have set up, including the four main ones, Waitangi Marae, Titi Marae, Taheke Marae in Hokianga, first British settlement village, Marae and Te Unga Waka Marae Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland. We are holding a final settlement court here, hearing there on Friday 26th of January 2018, which I am calling up the accounts of those accused as criminal fraudsters, including John Key, Panama Papers, Paradise Papers and New Zealand Dollars, 13 million New Zealand taxpayers' money John Key stole for the Hillary Foundation terrorist organisation of Hillary Clinton herself under investigations. I have followed these cases over a period of time, advertised on my 109 Facebook sites and 1495 YouTube videos, citing them every step of the way. I am confident that I will seize 77 Cook Street property now that I have exposed the fraud Iwi Maori Crown Corporation's Whakapapa historic land claims of Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara and Ngāti Whātua o Orakei have no title to prove against my Moriori Manukau King George IV private contract title in Edinburgh Magistrate Court to what I claim is stolen title from my ancestors I claim back and if any one of the people I name does not turn up to defend themselves on these lands I call my own as a commercial landowner called Wānoa to Paramount Chief Waikato Manukau then they are silent in our Sheriff's Court and Magistrate Court with more than enough evidence, quote, I am my own competent witness, unquote. Author, Native Land Commissioner, appointed as Surrogate King William III, King William IV, and Surrogate King George IV, and Surrogate Paramount Chiefs Tera Waikato Whare Herehere Manukau of Maungatauteri Mountain Reserve Land in Cambridge to Cambridge in England, UK, and Referefa -refe Manukau of Manukau Marae in Waiku and Pupunga Manukau Marae in Cornwallis, Manukau Harbour and Awaroa Marae in Helensville. Hori Tikuri is of Taheke Marae in Hokianga Harbour, Northland. He asked me to provide you with a letter from a lawyer, so I went through an uh, examination of all my documents and called Tony Fortune of Fortune Manning lawyers in the viaduct and duct. Graham Graham Oh, shucks. I don't know.
to provide you with a letter from a lawyer, so I went through a thorough examination of all my documents and called Tony Fortune of Fortune Manning Lawyers in the Viaduct area, and I will take all 32 bound up documents for him to notarise and seal, ready for me to courier to New Zealand Government, Internal Affairs and Foreign Affairs Minister for apostille sealing legalised so that I can start trading directly under the three British Empire Kings here and three Native Chiefs as unrebutted fact cited evidence against all named criminals operating fraud business on my ancestral lands and this has been made public over a period over a I hate correcting mistakes period of time after sending it period of time has arrived to settle accounts now the time has arrived to settle accounts I ask you, Tony Fortune, to draft a letter to Graham Allen attesting to my authenticity documents as I am the author and commercial landowner in my own native magistrate court since the courts dismissed the police, New Zealand Police CIB case against me, citing police had insufficient evidence to charge me for the 77 Cook Street property incident. Because the Lynn's department failed to insert the for Monica on the Cook Street land title as an interest in the land where they bought from from who? It, from who? I am treating the case as treason against me, Wānoi in capitals, Hawani Kahaki Wānoi, as an appointed surrogate king. In our own British law system, our king's flag is our receipt of jurisdiction to hold our own court hearing that New Zealand courts failed to let me appear in court. Rather, they dismissed the case as grand treason against me, are corrupted and have no seal of the Queen, no seal of Westminster, no flag jurisdiction over my King's flag sovereign authority, in fact, no authority over me. Now that I have caught them, the Crown Iwi Maori and courts committing crimes that I prove credible and proven. So I am going ahead after Friday 26 January hearing to see 77 Cook Street on the strength of the letter from you, Tony Fortune. Today, 24th of January 2018, I have a meeting with you to go ahead and document notary sealing only while I am why I carried out the apostille applications proceedings online in my own competent witness, competent witness to save me time and money. I am limited to why I have mastered my own unique documentation from a private contract with the Three Kings and Three Chiefs unbroken sovereign, self-sovereign com sovereignty commercial trading bank investment security of title bank economic partnership interests. Please cite these documents. I now email you this letterhead. I have the Chiefs from North behind me now to make sure we get 77 Cook Street property and Eastgate properties returned to me and the common people of New Zealand beneficiaries in the first instance join together in a one people financial claim interest to apprehend criminals fraud operations on these lands to legalize the Maui Power Note apostille under British King's title jurisdiction transferred here to me the surrogate king acting. I am wearing the Paramount Chief's Kodawai coat of a native chief diplomat Paramount Chief Lef Lef Manikau and King William IV 1834 Crown land patent flag of New Zealand private contract partners. Paramount Chief Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau and King George IV Crown land patents 1823. Private contract partners and Paramount Chief Hori Tikuri and King George IV private contract to Te Rewaikato Wharehere Manukau and King George IV private contract three chiefs to these three kings British emperors. I still have your cost to consider a priority to get Cook Street seized as soon as possible and my land at Rotten Point. I have battled for years against the Iwi Maori Crown trustees. Illegal landowners I challenge and they each remain silent. I have caught them all out legally. Now cannot refute mine and Morris Baker's British land title deeds. Land title deeds in any court of law. Out of the way. Any court of law, hang on, where am I? I 
I challenge each remain silent. I have caught them all out legally, illegally now, cannot refute mine and Morris Baker's British land title deeds in any court of law. They will lose with all my true Whakapapa evidence. Ngāti Whātua Whakapapa is owned by the Queen Elizabeth II, New South Wales, New Zealand, Crown private corporations and not the Māori themselves. I have nothing to do with. King William IV gave the 1834 flag for trade. He did not give it to Māori because there was no Māori in 1823 to 1945. It's a myth tribe of no substance fraud identity. I am putting an end to Friday the 26th of January 2018. America has no license from Britain, UK over our flag, license, partnership, six kings, where paramount means king, and where the British king gave the native king a legal commercial land ownership title, and the king's trading bank flag to trade under the king's British empire. I am privileged to hold that title now. I want you to give me a letterhead to take in person to Graham. Who's that? Graham Aylett today to his colleague Mike Gillum, as you are an approved notary for checking documents for sealing apostille for British foreign affairs and New Zealand internal affairs legalisation. I have devoted 20 years of pro to proving who I am and proving who Maori are not an original tribe but a corporate crown New South Wales New Zealand patented tribe, short of Maui Wanoa Tahitian royal family tribe. I am the paramount chief descendant, male dominant descendant of an executor as the executor of the Moriori Manukau native tribe at Pohara Marae in Cambridge where my father-in-law family lives. I am opening up the 12th Pohara Marae native magistrate court and Main link to King George IV private contract with Te Rawaikato Wharehere in Manukau, commercial landowner of his Pohara Marae, a succeed to, now well known on line, unopposed. Maori cannot prove they are a tribe because the New Zealand Crown Corporation owns the tribe, which is a direct threat against um, Maui native national flag of New Zealand investment bank interests. Can you instruct Mike here from America? to make provision to seize Cook Street after my Friday native court hearing, last chance for any accused to show otherwise it's a treble defaulted private contract on all of them one at a time. I have cited the X in our legal court of jurisdiction because the courts here in New Zealand failed me. I never got my day in court in Auckland District Court. Is every means to arrest these fraud criminals can't keep getting away with it, especially John Key bank fraud criminal. My manager in Scotland, Jackie Little Gordon, and Matt Taylor in Brighton, England, is all set up to manage our company office in Paddington across from Westminster Magistrate Court where I will be working from and office in Edinburgh where Te Rawaikato, Wharehere and Manukau native land titles are registered is a precedent case to the world's native indigenous countries. I am investigating all native titles under the Three Kings Authority jurisdiction. Note that all birth certificate titles came from my own St. Mary's Church in Tikitiki, East Cape, on my own Rahui Imarai and, la and land blocks in 1831, and the first British resident magistrate office set up in Rangitukia on my own land blocks there and on Waiapu River mouth, Paramount Chief Toi Kairako Waka Nukutere, Canoe Memorial Site on my own land as title holder. I'm seizing back to bring the British military and Navy military base on those um, land blocks, Haho Simbi, to protect the Pacific Island nations of Maui Crown, water people, and their king's people, peacemakers, the opposite to Queen Elizabeth's hell on earth, corrupted authority, lost in a sea of Muslims, threat takeover. I am asking the British military to seize the country back into theirs and our two-party partnership title as a state of emergency flag jurisdiction order, Maui, pound note, paid in advance contract. I await your favourable reply. Sincerely, John Wano, affidavit. I, John Hawani Wano of Auckland Legal Advocate, I swear that this is my sovereign truth statement claim. Principal Executor. John Horney Kahikiwano versus Queen Elizabeth II Crown Corporations Agents New Zealand. Sincerely, John Horney Kahikiwano. 
Surrogate King William III and IV, King George IV. Director, Surrogate King William IV and King of Hanover, Britain, UK, Commonwealth. World, 2015, King Ernest Augustus V. John Hawani Kakiwano, British, UK, Hanover, Salic Law, my spirit law, sovereign, natural, law, law, jurisdictions. I can be contacted, mobile 0064 Okay, there we go. Wow, Al, my Crown, King William IV Trust, legal barristers and lawyers representing my Crown Corporations, Ailet Investigations Limited, Auckland, New Zealand, Graham Ailet. The end. Okay, the end. So I'm just going to drop this all on Facebook, like that. I'll put the pictures there, but I'll, I'll, I'll just put this here, there. Now, before I go, <coughs> I disclose things because I've got a million and one things in my head running at the same time that I have to clear my mind of everything so that I have lots of jobs to do that are important as well. Legal and otherwise. The tidal turbine energy projects are a big thing to do and um, I'm going to just show you um, I'll put this up here. What's the time? 11 o'clock. I've got time. I've got, I've got one more job to do and that's Trump's letter. Come on. In the meantime, while that's mucking around, I'm going to put all these books here into the bag before the camera runs out. And there's 32 of them all together. Yeah, I'll put them in there. One, two, three, four. It's all bound up. Five, six, seven, Jamie there. Eh? Oops, don't throw her around. Eight, nine, ten, John Key right there. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, that's my coat of arms, fourteen, fifteen, that's my mate Morris Baker, and my outfit there, and Tahike Marae, that is Magistrate, fifteen, sixteen, Ernest Augustus, seventeen, Ernest Augustus again, 18, 19, 20, 21, Charter, 22, 23, 24, that's the title at Waitangi, one, one house title. One house title and the whole of the Bay of Island. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, how's the axe there, man? What King Graham I'm going to use on anybody? 31, Treasury, Agent Treasury London, 32, gold coins of King William IV to offset the Bitcoin and bankrupt them. 32 documents, ready to go. Okay, so now I'll just drop this on here and disclose what I've just written right there. Okay, I'll put that, I'll drop, drop that in there now and then I'll, I'll put the pictures up afterwards. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to screen print the pictures and put them in there with that. Now here's the letter here. 
I'm going to take this. That's the letter here. Um, to Fortune Manning. So you see how I set my letters here? That's my own unique way of writing. And our seals of Moai Crown and King William IV. The King of Commerce, okay? So that's five pages. That's the end page there. Oh, I've got to sign it. Oh, I'll sign it over there at the lawyer. I'll sign it at the lawyer so he can, he can um, keep a copy of my signed document. Okay, so that's how I do it. I always make sure I've got a copy so that you know, he can sign. And he'll have something for me to sign as well. So, people, I'm being thorough in what I do with everything. And it's up to anybody to say I'm wrong. Okay? I've just got one more job to do. And I will get on with it. I don't want anybody to ring. I don't want to ring anybody because I've got one more hour. One, 2.30. I've got to be there at 2.30. So that gives me a bit of time to put the state of emergency document together. I've got that document. Uh, I want to number these again. I'm going to write all the numbers down. I've got numbers on them. So I'm going to pull them out and take all the numbers and make sure they're numbered for reference to him and get my pen out and number them. So, um, people, I'm making a statement today as my own competent witness of my own documents in my own Native Magistrate Court with Paramount Chiefs are commercial landowners. When your name is in capital letters, you are a commercial entity made by the Crown Corporations in Britain, UK, Rothschilds, Bank of England and Queen Elizabeth II, I call corrupted entities. Okay, this is up against them and their titles and our Whakapapa native title over the Maori Whakapapa title that's been corrupted and there's enough of that I've got on YouTube. There's 1500 YouTube videos roughly now, I'll be making some more afterwards later on after I come back with the documents. I'm going to take them and bring them back because by then you would see what I'm going to do next in the process of apostolizing through the Church of Canterbury in England um, and connected to the Canterbury um, University of Canterbury Masters. They use Masters of Edinburgh um, in the Masters of Edinburgh over the native titles as you will see on the documents the Master of John uh, um, Clinton, James Reddy Clinton, Master of Edinburgh, title and the Master of Edinburgh, Native Land Commissioner, speaking for my St. Mary's Church, 1831, births, deaths and marriages in Tiki Tiki on my land block. That's the first church here to legalise births as legal instruments to make money and then the land instruments to make money. Okay, those two instruments are in these documents to apostolise. Once I apostolise them, they are law. A contract here makes law unopposed, unrebutted and unchallenged. It becomes the law and the law becomes a contract between me and anyone else. They are third parties, uh, Iwi Maori Crown Corporations, under Rothschild Banks, Rothschild Royal Family, Queen Elizabeth Royal Families, and United States of America and US Federal State Governments running, operating under Rothschilds and the Queen fraudulent dealings with Donald Trump is being caught out. Okay, they're going to get caught out, but we've got the bill in. We've got the pound note bill to cash up against the debtors junkie and the two landowners of Cook Street. Big time, trillion pounds a day. I'm not on that landlord. I warned them each day since the time I was arrested and taken away and the first notice I gave, the three notices in person to their office, in person to them both, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brown III, 
you are given free notices from me to refute my title. It's coming to a point where you had nothing in the first place. You lost your case against me. I could have taken that land off you straight after I came out of court, but I was going to be diplomatic. I was going to take the people of New Zealand into a Maui Crown King William IV trust entity that they are the beneficiaries of what I say and do here, not Mr. John Wanham. I'm there as a blueprint to recover all debts outstanding and settlement on Friday the 26th, that's Friday the 26th of January 2018, we're settling up the account of Queen Elizabeth II and Rothschild Banks and all those I have named in these documents to apostolize as judgment debtors. We've had our cases over time unopposed <coughs> and we have no limitation acts on how long the period is because it's been rolling over. Their legacy of fraud has rolled over and our continuity of sovereignty has rolled over with this flag and these contracts back into Inver Magistrate Court. Te Rewakato Wharehere here in Manukau and King George IV commercial contract sale and purchase agreement of this whole country, New Zealand and Pacific Islands <coughs> and now 250 countries in the world. This native title that I'm putting together shall constitute a British Empire reset. Okay, reset the British Empire with its flag given by the King, King's flag of Admiralty, martial law on any parts, third parties, who have tampered with this flag and its Admiralty Court Martial Law jurisdiction for bank wars. We're going up against the bank wars with this <coughs> authority and jurisdiction with our legal and legitimate partners, the British Navy. Sir Philip Jones, First Lord of the Sea, and King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world in 250 countries with this flag. Okay, that's all I want to say. And uh, I'll get on with um, putting this up on Facebook now and, and the document to finish things off. So have a nice day, and we'll see you later on tonight.